name is Luis and today I'm in Paris to try the top five croissants and we're gonna see which one is the best. So the first one we're gonna check is called Tuta Tuta Tour. Excuse me, how do you pronounce this? Tout autour du pain. Tout autour du pain. All around the bread. A boulangerie. It's very cute inside, it's cute and little. They offer some coffee from the coffee machine. It's not, I, don't, I do not recommend the coffee they serve, but let's try what we're here for. So, the croissant, one euro 50, with the inflation and everything, it's a good price. The croissant is lovely, looks like a typical croissant. Flaky, it doesn't look that buttery. It's very fluffy and crunchy, which makes it a very good. It's more like a, a normal neighborhood bakery. So the next one is called Carton. This is so fun. Dude, there's something really fucking hilarious about this. <coughs> the juxtaposition of like people fucking uh, protesting uh, Macron's ridiculous authoritarian neoliberal agenda as Paris is like fucking burning to the ground. And this motherfucker is just like looking for croissant. Croissant! Uh, it, it was perfectly made for me. Carton. They look like they know what they're doing. They like to flex their achievements, rightfully so. For now, they're the best looking. The best looking Ooh. ones. Ah, oui, oui. Oui, oui. This one is the most filled with air. As soon as you touch it, it becomes flat. This one is good as is, very good. There's many layers. This has almost the perfect shape. This has to be in the top three, hands down. This was very modern with the Instagram followers counter, but the area, the area is not the best. I mean, there's a subway, there's a pub right here. There's a Popeye's chicken, there's a train station. And usually in Europe, where, where there's a train station and a McDonald's, there's no good people. It's very hard to find good quality in an area like what? this touristic, you know? So it's, it's good that there's a place like this. The next one is uh, called Storer, Storer, and it's the oldest one. Storer, Storer, Storer. Poor equals bad. It's probably the no the most motherfucker. One Wait, we're what? No, no, in the no, no. I'm gonna. I don't know anything about this dude's politics. That's not what he's saying at all. First of all, I love that you think Popeyes equals poor people. Okay, not in Europe, dumbass. Talking about tourists. He's talking about like this area is a tourist area. It's like American food. American food being sold means that it's a tourist area. Which means, like, you know, it's not exactly the best uh, area to go to. Looks pretty classic. Looks very buttery. Not that flaky. See? It doesn't lose too many flakes. Mmm. Mmm. It's very thick. That's the thing. Very buttery, very tasty. I don't want to say I'm disappointed with the Storer one but it, it's the most normal one. I mean, it's the texture, the, the look. It's probably the one that your grandmother loved. The location, I mean, it's pretty unique, 300 years old, but the area is very, very, very touristic. So it doesn't look like a place where you will go on a daily basis. It's more of a historic place. Yeah, as I said, this is not the most interesting one because it's, it's a little thicker than the other ones. It doesn't have all those layers that the other ones have. But it's still very good. It's a, it's a normal good person. The next we're gonna visit is called Dupin des Idées. So now we're at the Boulangerie Dupin et des Idées. Very cute, very old. It looks like a, a jump in the past, you know? So the inside is very 1900 Liberty style. So let's try this one. This was a little bit more expensive. It's flaky, like it's supposed to be. It looks like it's got a cheesy crust. 
I like the, that it's not perfect, you know, the shape is not perfect. It reminds me on, on how not perfect the, the pizza napoletana, you know, it's not a perfect a pizza shape. Napoletana. And this is the same. Wow. You can definitely taste more of a vanilla. Probably they, they put some egg yolk on top and that makes it so good. This is good as is, you know? You don't need anything else. You don't need a cappuccino. You don't need to dip it in milk because it's not dry. You know, there's, there's the right amount of butter. It has a little bit of a vanilla taste to it. It's creamy, kinda, well, no. but there's no cream inside, you know? And probably that's the, the effect that the, the egg gives it. It's so messy eating this. The birds in Paris seems to know when, when you have a croissant, they come to you because they know there's gonna be crumbs. The next one is Cédric Grolet Opéra. Sorry for my French, I'm not, I'm not French. Um, Cédric, Cédric Grolet Opéra. So there's a huge line, so I asked the, the guy on the door, do they still have croissants? Yeah. No more croissants, no more croissants. No more croissants? Okay. They said to come tomorrow morning. I'm not gonna come tomorrow morning. They finished all the croissants, so we left. So we're not gonna know how to place them in the rating. Too much work for a croissant. I cannot judge it, so it's gonna be a question mark. I don't know. It's... <laughs> top five, so it's it's because I only tried five, so yeah. Dupa et Deside. The not perfect shape makes it so tasty to me. I don't know why. It's buttery. It's flaky. It's very good. Right, guys, that's, that was a very good experience trying the real croissant in Paris and um, hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did and uh, I see you soon. That was awesome. It was so stupid but so funny. Tax les riches. It's not stupid, fuck you. What do you mean? No, it is stupid. What, what the fuck are you talking about? That's why it's funny. The juxtaposition is kind of dumb, which makes it funny.